What's going on everybody? My name is Steven Wimberly and this is Working with Wimberly and in this video I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to replace the struts in your Yukon, Escalade, Suburban, Tahoe and similar GM SUVs. Here's our replacement strut and we can see it comes with the three nuts on the top so we'll use these. There's a place for two bolts at the bottom. We're going to have to reuse the bolts that are on the old struts. This Yukon Denali is equipped with Magnum Ride, so there is an electrical connector on top of the strut. So looking in the engine bay, on top of the shock tower, there's three nuts. And we can see one of them right there. You can see the second one right there. And you can see the third one right here where my flashlight is. And you may see plastic caps on top. And they're just to hold the wiring harness. You're going to want to pull those off and just sit them to the side. There's a brown one right here that sits above one of the nuts. You just need to lift these up and move them aside. And then we'll be able to get to the nuts. There's two ways to get to those three nuts. I like to use extensions and go down and get it from the engine bay. But from underneath, you can also see the three nuts from behind the splash shield. Some people like to get the three nuts from in here. I'm going to do it from the engine bay. But first thing I'm going to do is disconnect the electrical connector. And mine is pulled off to the side right here, which will allow me to disconnect it from under here. So I'm going to get this disconnected, then we can get these three nuts off. go have it disconnected the three factory nuts are 18 millimeter so I have an 18 millimeter socket on several extensions with a breaker bar I'm just going to break them loose and then I'll spin the nuts all the way off There's the three nuts. And now we can move underneath and remove the two bolts from the bottom of the strut. And they are 15 millimeters, so I'm gonna use my 15 millimeter socket to get those off. And remember to keep these because we need to reuse these. We get new nuts for the top, but we need these bolts for the bottom. All right, we've got the two bolts out, and now I'm just going to push the strut forward to get it off of the lower control arm. And once you get it off of the control arm, just tilt it forward. Get your electrical connector out, and you can tilt it forward and pull it out through the upper control arm. And of course, installation is the reverse of the removal process. Slide it in place. Make sure to feed the connector through. That'll hold it in place. We can go ahead and attach the electrical connector. Make sure it's snapped in. Push in the locking tab.
Not sure if you all saw that, but I just used the pry bar to slide the strut on top of the lower control arm. I'm going to loosely fasten the two bolts at the bottom just to keep it in place. And then we'll put the three nuts at the top. From underneath, we have the electrical connector connected. We can see one nut right there, the second one, and the third one back there. And we also have our two bolts at the bottom. I'm going to tighten everything up. And this job is done. If you found that video helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment. God bless you all.